man, I uh, started with traditional mixed martial arts. I uh, started training karate when I was about six years old. Tried a little bit of taekwondo, a little bit of boxing, but karate is what I mainly stay focused in. I uh, got up to like purple or something, uh, purple belt or something, and then uh, I had to leave Cuba. I had to leave the country, and that's how I. Uh, that's pretty much how, I st how everything started out. When I was in eighth grade, I saw. I saw the UFC and uh, I think Forrest Griffin was the champion at the time and man, I just loved it. And uh, I tried, I started, I wanted to train since I was that young, but uh, mom didn't let me. She said uh, I was too small, this and that. She just didn't let me. She was, she thought it was, cra it was a crazy idea. So what I did was I joined wrestling when I, as soon as I started high school. Wrestled varsity f uh, throughout uh, all the four years. Um, Placed at some pretty big tournaments and uh, my junior year, I found Syndicate MMA uh, through Coach Fredson that he referred me to this gym on, uh, on social media. He told me to come check it out. I have a few friends that were training here, they told me to check it out as well. And uh, yeah, pretty much right after school, I actually left school early just to come train and I'll be here training with the, with the pro team since I was 17 years old. Training with the pro team has been tough, man. I mean. When I started out, I'll, obviously I'll get beat up every day, but it's been a beautiful thing, like being able to somewhat grow to the level or at least to a level where I can compete against them. And I just love it. Like, it's a great feeling knowing that you're surrounded by some of the best guys, especially in Las Vegas. And that just gives you that extra confidence whenever I go out there and fight. Cause my mentality is my, uh, my, my opponent is most likely not going to be better than my training partners. That's the way I think about it. And uh, it works out for me, man. It's just, it's just a great thing, man. I was pretty much brought into the best gym that I could possibly uh, been brought to to start my fighting career. And uh, when it comes to John Wood, I just love having him as a coach because he's able to put everything together. Jitsu with the wrestling, with MMA, that's what makes him one of the best coaches there is out there. He's just able to throw everything together and I really admire that about him. And I recognize that about him because uh, I see what all the coaches are doing and they're good, but they're not that good at putting everything together. So uh, that, that helps me appreciate how good my coaches are. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out first and foremost to my main sponsor, Blue Diamond Vapor. Check them out there on, check them out there on uh, out here in Rainbow Warm Springs, great vaping shop. Um, mainly my coaches also, uh, John Wood, uh, Shaz Smoky, Vinny, Fredson. My teammates, they are, teammates are like family, man. They take care of me, help, help me out, make me better every day. My family, my mom, without my mom, I wouldn't be able to be doing any of this. I wanna give a huge shout out to my dad, he's in Cuba. He's the first person that put the boxing gloves on me when I was two years old. And then he pretty much threw that love into me, you can say. And I'm blessed for this gym, man, so shout out to Syndicate MMA. I want to invite everyone to WFC 38, April 24th at the Sunset Station Casino here in Las Vegas. Please come watch and support. It'll be a great fight. The whole car is a great event. Just come watch, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be some fireworks. Para mi gente cubana, muchas gracias por todo el apoyo. Ustedes me ayudan a esforzarme todos los días, a trabajar duro. Y acuérdense que yo todos los días me levanto a entrenar y a pelear duro para representar bien a Cuba y, y a todos ustedes. Gracias.